Hello everyone, so I'm here today to film my much overdue finale and summary of my Project Pen Roulette for 2016. I did have a request that I should do kind of a summary to let you know how much I did actually end up finishing in this whole project together. So that's what I'm going to do today as well as just give you a final update for the products that I added to the project between November and December. First we'll start with the products I haven't touched since my last update in November. The first is a product I've had for less than a year for that I picked the NARS Paloma Contouring Duo. I did finish this one up in a different project and this one I haven't touched in ages. And a product from my favorite brand, this is a Max Russian Red. I haven't used this in so long. I'm really hoping to get a lot more use out of this this year when winter rolls around, but at the moment I haven't used it even once. And now onto the products that I've made progress on. The first is a cheap product and that was my Essence Blue Me Up Eyeliner Duo. This is the little nub that I have right now. And on my sheet of paper, it looks like this. That's where my final update, my finale is. I have that much left to go, but much less than that actually because it is duo. Um, there is very little product left at all. For a product in the form I dislike, I have my Bite Agave Lip Mask. I haven't added an extra mark to this one because it is so far down, I can't really mark it. I probably have maybe a week or so left with this one and it will be finally done. A product from the brand I have the least of. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in 19L. I only have that much left. And on my little sheet of paper, that line there is where I am now. So I started the project there and it took me about a year to get down to there. For a bronzer or contour, I have the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Bronzer from this cheek palette. I did make some progress on it, if you can see I did make a bit of a dip on the side there, but otherwise just made a little bit of progress. For a product from my favourites post, this is the Mavala Orchid Mauve Nail Polish. I got down to that line there. It is currently incredibly gloopy and difficult to use, but I'm hoping to finish it up in the next few weeks. For a nail polish, I have Kester Black's Peach Melba. I don't think I've used this once since the last update, um, or at least not enough to make a new line. For an unscented product, I have the Aveen Zero Calm AD Lipid Replenishing Cleansing Oil. I have been using this, but I'm actually trying to move out some smaller little baby shower gels at the moment, so this one isn't getting much love. For a lip gloss, I have the Marc Jacobs High Shine Lip Lacquer in Pretty Thing. I am still down to about here. It's what I'm wearing today, but it just doesn't seem to be moving any faster than I would have thought. For a perfume, I have the Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist in Mad About You. That is the progress that I made. I did think I would make a lot more progress than that, but I just didn't. For a lip balm, I have the Napoleon Purtis Tinted Lip Balm in Tulip. I hardly made any progress in this at all. I didn't even mark it at the last update, so still working on that one, though at the same time seriously considering decluttering it. For an eyebrow product, I had the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Transparent. I haven't actually been using this one. I know I said that I would definitely finish it because it's like my only brow gel, um, but I bought a new brow gel and I've been using that one instead. So didn't finish this one, but I will continue to use it. For an eyeliner, I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Underground. That's where I am right now. I didn't make any sort of marking. I just tried to make some progress in it, and I did, but still lots to go. For a body lotion, I have the Body Shop Strawberry Body Sorbet. I'm down to there. I'm very close to finishing it, but unfortunately, I didn't finish it. And finally, for a uh, brand new product, I had the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Girl Talk. I actually made a really nice little dip in it. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not close to pan. I just made a really nice little dip, and I'm really happy with that to have a dip in a brand new product. So now onto the products that I finished since my last update. The first is a highlighter, and I finished the Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer little mini here. I was mixing this into body lotion, and there is a little bit down at the bottom in this corner, uh, but I can't get it out, so I'm calling that one done. For a blush, I had the Stila Convertible Color in the shade Gerbera from the Field of Florals palette. I just wanted to hit pan, and I did. There's a little bit of pan on the side there. I'm really happy to have reached pan, and I can't wait to get heaps more use out of these other colors. For a sample, I had the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil Organic Moisturizing Oil. It was just a little baby one, and I finished it up really quick. And lastly, for an expensive product, I had the Skin79 Super BB 
cream basically the foundation I've had this for ages and I really love it but it took me so long to finish so I'm really glad to have finally finished it so now on to a little bit of a summary of this project generally. There were three products that I did withdraw throughout the project. The first was a product from my most recent haul, which was MAC Woodwinked. Then there was an unfinished project pan product, which was my Revlon Photo Ready Primer Plus Shadow in Watercolors. It was that eyeshadow quint, as well as a limited edition product, which was the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Enamored. It was a little mini, it was a red, and I just didn't want to use it. I finished heaps of products throughout this project and I'll list them all down in my description if you're interested to know like what products I've finished uh, but otherwise I'm just going to give you the total numbers so as far as products in this project throughout 2016 I finished a total of 37 products that then broke down into 16 makeup products which was three foundations one powder two blushes one highlighter, five eyeshadows, one eyeliner, one lip pencil, and two lipsticks. It was 10 skincare products, which was two cleansers, one makeup remover, four sprays or mist toners, and three oils or serums. I finished three body care products, one body wash or soap, one moisturizer or oil, and one bath product. I also finished three hair care products, which was one shampoo, one conditioner, and one treatment product. And then I finished five fragrances. So I'm really happy with how this project went throughout 2016. It was my first time really doing anything like this, and I'm really happy to say that I will probably be doing exactly the same thing this year. I still need to get all my categories ready to do my introduction video, but I'm really excited to do another year-long roulette in 2017. So there you go, that is my final update, finale, and summary for my Project Pen Roulette for 2016. Please let me know how you went in your Project Pen Roulette, whether you did it for throughout the entire year or just for a season. I'd really like to know how you went. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.